Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism and this video is going to be some signs that you could be dealing with a narcissistic person. When it comes to narcissistic people they tend to be incredibly self-entitled, exploitative, envious people who lack the empathy to care about those around them and have that grandiosity of the belief that they are so superior to other people and the arrogance to believe that they are always right. With a narcissist it's always one rule for them and a completely different rule for you, whatever works in that narcissistic person's favour. And so when it comes to dealing with a narcissistic person, they rarely to never listen to you. They'll listen to you in the beginning, in the love bombing, where they're gathering the information that they need to use against you. They'll listen to you so that they can provoke you and bait you and wind you up to get that reaction from you because they are engaged in the conversation to a point where they want to get that reaction so that they can blame everything on you. At other times, they're that self-absorbed. They're not interested in listening to you. They're not interested in listening to your point of view, especially if it doesn't match theirs. If it doesn't match theirs, they're either going to switch off and fall silent or go out, go all out to wind you up to gain that reaction so that they can make you feel frustrated and resentment so that you potentially act out in anger towards them and then you blame yourself and question yourself and doubt yourself and work harder to make it up to them. Narcissistic people need that admiration. They need the praise and the excessive attention they'll rarely to never congratulate or praise another person they'll not acknowledge another person's achievement only if they can put it down tear it to pieces however when it comes to a narcissist if they do something for you they expect that eternal gratitude and even if you do thank them for things if they're busy impressing a stranger and the stranger thanks them in some way or buys them something, they will stand next to you and claim, oh, it's nice to be appreciated, isn't it? Or you'll notice if someone gets praise or recognition in front of a narcissistic person because they require the attention and they're envious of others, they get offended by this. They seek to mock the other person's achievement or and take the credit for the other person's achievement if it wasn't for me or they'll have those passive aggressive digs at the other person where they go, go at the other person with a backhanded compliment wow didn't think you were capable of that or they'll just say who did you exploit to get that because that's where that's where they're coming from they rarely to never give people constructive feedback they will happily criticize other people however they themselves don't take too kindly to constructive feedback you offer a narcissistic person some sort of feedback and they're naturally going to take offense to this because they believe they are superior to you if it was a good idea you'll often notice that later down the line they'll take on board this feedback and they'll adapt it into their life and then they'll come out with it like it was all their idea and you never said anything to them. So narcissistic people, you can just praise them about something in front of other people but if they've told those other people a different story, they're going to be offended by this. Narcissistic people cheat a lot. Not all narcissistic people cheat on their partners. A good majority of them do. However, they will all cheat you out of things. They'll cheat you out of your friends, your family, your hopes, your dreams, your health, your wealth, your happiness. Your They will go all out to extract what they want from you and then move on to somebody new to cheat that other person out of things they they cheat you out of your reality and then they blame you for why they cheated on you because they believe their 
morally superior so they they rewrite it in their mind that that person deserved that treatment in some way that they were doing that person a favor that they was giving that person a lesson they they have to make it that they were superior that they were better that they they were only trying to help they were doing it for your benefit when more often than not they were sabotaging you they were criticizing you they were mocking you they were doing it for their own benefit because they didn't want to see you do well they will go around belittling other people and pulling other people down because they're envious of others they can't be pleased for others if somebody's got a new car they will claim that that person must have received some sort of inherent inheritance or who have they robbed to get that oh they must have got it on the never never they're, they're always going to find a way to put it down or claim well it's not as good as mine is it mine's better and they're looking for that validation and reassurance from you when they turn around someone has some new windows put in though well they're not as good as our windows are they our windows look far better than theirs don't they and they're looking for you to agree with them if you dare say well, it's been 15 years since we had our dust done. Maybe we need an upgrade. They get offended. Oh, knew you'd take their side. You you don't appreciate anything. And they, they instantly turn around and attack you. They exploit others with no remorse, no guilt. Because they believe they're morally superior. They believe that they're doing that other person a favour in their twisted reality. They might feel a moment of shame if other people are potentially going to look poorly on their behaviour. However, the narcissist still believes that the other person is in the wrong. However, they will happily scapegoat somebody to shift the blame so that the narcissist isn't held responsible or looked poorly upon by those around them. And when they do things to hurt other people, if they can't put on that grandiose charismatic charm or if they can't play the victim, they will go all out to lie and deny all knowledge, to gaslight another person's reality. People are capable of gaslighting in a manner that isn't manipulative. So if you know you told somebody something like telling a narcissistic person something and they didn't want to do it so they just forget about it and ignore it and don't pay attention because it's not relevant or interesting to them and then when you say oh we're going to go and do this and they turn around and say you never told me that and you go yes I did I told you then to a narcissistic person they then believe that you are the one that's gaslighting them and they turn around and accuse you of being the gaslighter so when it comes to narcissistic people they gaslight your reality and they will also unjustly accuse you of doing the very things that they are doing to you there are lots of different signs that you could be dealing with a narcissistic person any you notice please do add those into the comments for people reading through thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel it's greatly appreciated if you are new to the channel i'm elizabeth shaw this channel is all about narcissistic behavior to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot get more contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse if you do find the information helpful on the channel please do subscribe if you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse i do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description if you're looking for someone to speak to i have partnered with better help and their sponsored link is also in the video description go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye